My name's Alison Twycross. I've worked in the faculty since May 2005. Since August of this year, I've been a reader in children's nursing and deputy head of school for the School of Midwifery and Child Health. The things I do on a day-to-day -day basis are I run the MSc Maternal and Child Health and I'm responsible for postgraduate issues within the School of Midwifery and Child Health, as well as having an, an overview of children's nursing within the faculty. The MSc Maternal and Child Health is just entering its third year. It's a two-year part-time course or a one-year full-time course. Uh, most of the students who would consider doing the course full-time would be international students who would do the course, would come and do the theoretical content and then go home and do their research project. Core modules in, include two research modules, which is a research methods module and a research planning and project management module. And a determinants of maternal and child health module, which is specific to the MSc maternal and child health, and a power risk and organisational culture module. Students also do 40, sorry, four option modules, which they choose in areas that they're interested in. Okay, three option modules, which we uh, are keen for people to do as standalone modules, although all modules that we run ourselves are open for people to do as standalone modules to get a taste for studying at master's level or because they want to improve their practice in that area. But we've got three modules that are running from January to March 2011, which are open for people to do as standalone modules. One is managing pain in children. The other is perinatal mental health and the other one is sexual health and well-being. They all run on five full days between January and March and are a really good way of getting a taster for what it's like to study at master's level. Although I should note that the Managing Pain in Children module is also running at degree level. So if you're looking for a few extra credits to top up your degree, uh, you might want to think about doing the Managing Pain in Children module. The course is the MSc Maternal and Child Health. It's primarily for nurses and midwives working with women and children, but may be of interest to people working in social care or in other areas where, women, where they're caring for women and children. To be eligible for the course, you normally need to have an honours degree and two years' experience working with children or women. Most of our candidates um, to date have been midwives, health visitors, school nurses or children's nurses, but we've also had people coming from nursery nursing and had applications from other other areas as well. If you don't have a degree you can still apply for the course but you would need to have done a degree level module and got 60% or above in, in that assignment and we would expect you to write an essay. But it's always worth giving me a call to discuss it whether you're eligible or not if you think you, you would like to do the course. I think this is the only course locally and probably across the, the UK that actually focuses on, on women and children and has a, a and, and looks at local, national and international issues. There are millennium goals for women and, and maternal and child health um, from the WHO, the World Health Organization. And, and so we draw on information from a, a local, national, international level to help people reflect on their current practice and widen their perspectives. Because we have midwives, health visitors and children's nurses, as well as other people working with women and children, it's an interprofessional course and that also helps widen people's perspectives. By doing the course, you'll be able to reflect on your practice and, and, and look at how it is in relation to local policies, national policy and international issues. You'll be doing a research project and the research project will be related to your area of clinical practice and so will be another way of developing clinical practice. It, 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 some of the modules look at managing people in healthcare. They, they, they look at um, the, the challenges of improving practice and, and really help you think through what it is you need to do in order to be implementing the best possible practice that you can do. This course is predominantly theoretical although the assignments are designed to help students link theory and practice. There are two modules, two option modules, which require students to be working in practice or have practice experiences. The first of those is the Managing Pain in Children module, which requires you to be working with children in pain in order to reflect on your practice and complete the assignment. 
the, the other module, which is one of the option modules from the MSc in Advanced Practice, is, is a Globalisation Youth and Culture module, and that would require you to do some practical, a practical placement as part of that module. I think what's particularly exciting about the students on this course is that you can really see how they've developed um, professionally and that their own careers have, have taken off. Four of the five students in the first cohort have got new jobs where they're taking practice forward. One student is working at Epsom Hospital developing and managing a midwife-led birthing centre, so at the forefront of developing practice. Two of that cohort have been working in the community running antenatal clinics in non-traditional settings, i.e. non-healthcare settings, to try and ensure that, that women are able to access antenatal care. I think it, it's very exciting that one of the local midwifery managers has identified a real change in, in her staff who she has sent on the course. And it, I think that's the most exciting thing about the course, that we can really see how students have changed and improved practice and, and, and how they're, they're taking practice forward.